Hello and welcome to Resizing Images for the Web. There are many different programs available that allow you to edit images for the web. However, today we're going to be focusing on Picasa, a free photo editing software that's made available by Google. Before we get started though, here are a few terms and concepts that will help you in editing your photos for the web. The first item I'd like to talk about is pixels. A pixel is a unit of measure by which most digital images on the web are measured. Inches and other forms of measurements can be used, but usually the universal idea is pixels because it depends on the resolution of a person's monitor as to how big a pixel really is. Inches just don't cut it. If you're going to start resizing your images for the web, usually think of the couple standards. I usually try to put 100 by 75 as a small image, about 200 by 150 pixels as, as a medium sized image, and about 300 by 250 pixels for a large image, and that'll give the best ratio to your content. The next item I'd like to talk about is color. A digital image can look very different depending on the light it was taken under. A tungsten light bulb or a fluorescent lights can give off very different color temperatures for your images. So you have to be very aware of how your photos are going to look. If they look very yellow or very green, you may need to do some color compensation on your photos. Now I'm going to talk about file formats, which can be just a little bit tricky. Today's cameras save images in all sorts of proprietary formats, but the easiest format to remember is the JPEG. If you can get your image into a JPEG format, they'll be ready for the web, because that format is already compressed and optimized for file size and also quality. The next item I want to talk about is file size. The download size of your image is very important to make your website easy to navigate and also quick to download. For most images on the web, your file size should be no bigger than 1 to 5 kilobytes for a very small image, about 5 to 10 kilobytes for a medium sized image, and really no greater than 25 kilobytes for a large image. It'll just slow down your page and that's really not what you want. Another item that I want to talk about is contrast. The contrast in a photo is the difference between black and white based on neutral gray. If your image seems washed out, adding a little bit more contrast to either the blacks or the whites will really make that image pop. Another item to talk about is cropping. Cropping can bring emphasis to any specific part of your photo. It can turn a landscape into a portrait, or you can grab a person out of a group and make that photo all about them. Some programs even have predefined shapes such as 5x7 or 8x10, but really on the web the most important thing is that the photo matches your content. Okay, now we've talked about a little bit of the language on how to prepare your photos for the web. Let's go ahead and run through the basics of Picasa. Once you have it installed on your computer, your entire hard drive is probably going to be scanned for, your, for images. Once you're ready to edit an image, go ahead and double click on that image and it will bring it into the main stage viewer. Within Picasa, if you look up to your left, you're going to find options such as cropping, straightening, red eye reduction, contrast, color, and lots more. Each one of these is going to fix or fine tune your photo to make it so that it's personalized just the way that you would like it. In order to size a photo and export it correctly, you need to choose the export option by either going to File, Export Photo, and then to the folder, or you can use the Export button at the bottom of the screen. Once you've chosen to export the photo, you can choose to save the new photo you will create and within there you can size the photo to whatever size you want either by using the slider or by choosing the actual physical dimensions of the photo that you want. You can put in 150 pixels and that's what it's going to end up resizing it for you. It's that good. The physical dimensions of the photo will depend though on the content that you're placing the photo within. If you have a lot of content, you can use a little bit larger photo, but if you don't have very much content, you're probably going to want a little smaller photo. But once you hit OK, it's going to do all the work for you. Picasso is going to resize the photo down, let's say to 150 pixels if that's what you chose. It's going to optimize the photo to the quality that you chose, and then it's going to allow you to save it to your hard drive. Well, that's it for resizing images for the web. Today I've talked about some vocabulary words such as contrast, pixel, file size, file format, and a few others. While then going through a few procedures in Picasa on how to personalize your image, 
how to resize your image, and then how to export your image out of the program. Now you're ready to turn your photos into web-ready images. Thanks for watching. Thank you.